Hi, my name is Chris Goods. I'm a sound designer mixer at Soundfirm. I will be showing you some features of the Tango as a controller for Pyramix. The Tango control surface has a tight integration with the Pyramix engine using the Oasis protocol over high-speed Ethernet. The Tango has eight fader strips with optional 12 fader expansions. These channel strips, coupled with the Monarch, make for a powerful mixing control of the Pyramix. The Monarch shows you all the mixer strips in the Pyramix. You can condense the Monarch by pressing the Smart button and pressing View 2. Now you have 54 channels running along the top. And with View 3, you can have 108 channels. If I press and hold the Smart button, I can slide up and down the Monarch to access more inputs. On View 1, we have 27 inputs running along the top. To access channels up and down the Monarch, I can just go into Chair Mode. Now I am sliding my virtual chair up and down the input strips, without the need of more physical faders. There is also white mode, which I can choose individual inputs to appear in the channel strips in front of me in the order that I press them. These layouts can be stored and recalled using the ergonomic spread feature. To modify a parameter, just press it on the touchscreen and it will come up in the active area of the Tango. Now you have control using these 16 encoders down the right hand side, plus control of it on the touchscreen and the three active controls at the bottom of the touchscreen. In this case I have an EQ as a Strip Tools plugin on the Pyramix. When I change the EQ here, I see it change on the Pyramix screen. If you would like to pan, just press the panner. Now it comes up on the active control area. I have different pan controls on the encoders, front and rear, left and right, divergence, and sublevel. I can also surround pan using my finger on the touchscreen. The Pyramix mix outputs are also available above the panner. If I select a different mix stem, I can turn it on from the control surface without needing to use the mouse on the Pyramix. Grouping inputs is easy on the Tango. Just press the group button and touch the first fader you would like in the group. Now you see the group plus light illuminated. Now you can just touch faders to add them instantly to the group. You can also add faders to the group using the Monarch. They light up on the Monarch to show you who is on the group. These groups can also be applied to mutes, solos, and even EQs. If I have a Pyramix session with lots of mono strips with 5.1 material, I can group these faders together. From these groups I've made, I can select Group Collapse. Now each group is one Monarch segment. On the expert panel we have our automation controls. To put a channel into automation right, just press the right button and press the inject button on the channel. This is the same for automation read, auto write, and isolate. If I want to set many channels to automation right, I just press the right button and wipe my finger along the monarch. This puts all the channels I press into automation right. If I want to put the whole mixer into automation right, I just press and hold the right button and press the all button. The transport panel features these smart locators for storing timeline points in the Pyramix project. To store a locator, just hold it down until it becomes illuminated. To recall it, just tap it and the Pyramix jumps back and goes into play. I have an EQ strip I would like to store and apply to other channels. Just press and hold one of the memory store buttons and then double press the EQ. The memory button is now illuminated and the EQ is stored in the memory. To paste it, hold down the memory store button and touch the inject points of the channels you would like to apply them to. You can also apply it to channels using the arc. Tango has many hardware buttons available for editing, as well as an edit panel on the touchscreen. To create an edit panel, just press configure, Edit Panel. Select a button you would like to create, give it a colour, enter a name. You can now select the button action you would like to assign the function to. You can have different functions for when you press the button down, when you release the button, or when you hold the button down and turn the jog wheel. For this example, I will just select button down. Now assign it the Oasis Edit function 
Cut. Now press Change. Here is the edit panel layout that comes with the Tango. All Oasis functions and all keyboard commands are available to the edit panel. Literally everything in the Puramix is programmable. Here is another layout for extra automation commands. For a more compact edit panel, you can use the Active Display function. This brings up a smaller, user-definable edit panel on the active section of the touchscreen. To get more edit functions in this section, you can press different segments of your channel strips to change the layout of the active edit panel. The Tango control surface can be used as a virtual keyboard. Say I want to render a clip. I press Select to highlight the clip in the Pyramix. Now on the edit panel, I can press Render. This brings up the render window in the Pyramix. Now I can type in a file name, assign a folder and other options from the Tango. There is no need to reach for a keyboard and mouse. Many of the hardware buttons are also programmable. You simply go to the Configure Edit Keys page to modify them the same way you would with the edit panel. The jog wheel can be used for simple jogging and navigating. On the edit panel I can hold down the zoom button and turn the jog wheel to zoom in and out. Here is an example where I jog to the start of some audio I wish to edit. I can press selection in, then jog to the end and press selection out. Now I can separate the region by pressing separate. I can cut the clip from the timeline by pressing cut. Holding down the track selection button and using the jog wheel I can select another track and paste it back onto the timeline using paste. If I want to see the waveform larger, I can change the size of the track from the edit panel. The monitoring section is also accessible through the Tango control surface. The hardware monitor pot can control the monitor level. Press it down to dim the monitor level. You can turn the monitor pot when in dim mode to set the dim attenuation. On the touch screen, you can press the monitor section and it brings up a monitor window. It has large output meters and you can set the speaker mutes. Select different speaker sets and select different mix downs. You can also use this to enable different talkbacks, monitor external sources and select your Pyramix mix buses to send to the monitoring. 